Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Napoleon Total back again with some Shogun 2, Fall of the Samurai, out of our battles. And today we have a 2v2 on Chubu Pass. And this was actually sent in by none other than Goblin Slayer. And yeah, this is essentially a battle that I'll be covering. Um, what is going on is that it's actually yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, I obviously haven't watched the replay, so I don't know what the heck is going on. But I'll try my best, and um, let's get started. Well, um, first off the bat, we have Uno. He's going to be deploying some Shogun Guard infantry, Shogun Guards, Shogun Guards. Uh, entire line of Shogun Guards mixed on with some Black Tortoise Force, and some more Shogun Guard infantry. Behind him, he has an entire line of Yarakachi, his general, uh, Armstrong Guns, and yeah. In the front lines, he has some Yari Cavalry in the mix. Mix them with some uh, Yugi Gitai, and holy cow, this is really fast now. And yeah, that's it for his army. We have Goblin Slayer with his general. Um, he has a lot of Bow Warrior Monks. Bow Warrior Monks. Uh, Max Lokashigaru. Mix them with some Naganata Samurai, which is a pretty good unit. A very, uh, decent unit. Mix them with some Tetsuru, Tetsuru Warriors and some uh, Gomez Hero Runs, which are 100% awesome. <laughs> and um, yeah. On this other side, defending, we have. Oh no, never mind. He does have some more Waku Raiders. I didn't. Wow, these guys. Waku Raiders. And he has three units of fire cavalry. One. Uh, sorry. Two units. Three units of cavalry. Two Yari. One fire. And I think that's it for his army. I think. Um. Well, it is from his perspective. So yeah, it should be it. Um. We have here. Uh. The, this blue player. The blue faction. And blue and light blue faction. And we have some. We have some. We have. He's basically using this hill. And, um, what? And he has some matchlock Ashigaru in the front lines. Mix them with some more matchlocks. Mix them with some, um, bow warrior. bow samurai. And some. And a general. To his right, we have the, his ally, which is Zeon. And he's gonna be deploying a lot of red bears. And, well, and a lot of red bears. Yeah. He does have more red bears with some Tosa riflemen. Jaegers. <laughs> and he has uh, General's Bodyguard and mixed them with um, some Revolver Cavalry. Wow. And yeah, as a, as a matter of fact, his Revolver Cavalry is already gunning away at Uno's Yugi Kitai. So let's press play and see what happens. Um, yeah, this Yugi Kitai is broken. And I would actually suggest following this entire army back. And yeah, he's going to be doing that. Um, until you reach the safety of your guns. But, um... Yoriki pretty much destroyed. Um, you have more troops, don't you? You should have formed more troops up. Yeah, you should have formed more troops up. You should have formed more troops up. Um... Oof, this does not look good. Um, what is this unit? Go Samurai, yeah. Well, this cavalry rush is pretty devastating. How are these revolver cavalry just getting away at this very key? Um, yeah, stop firing and focus on this unit now. Um, and we have naval bombardment. Uh, probably from Uno, but yes. Um, this, this, um, what is this unit? Yuri key is actually doing quite well. Um, actually, no, not actually, not that dude. Not that well anymore. But, um, they're just gonna give up on the dojos. Which, which is really unfortunate considering the fact that now they're just going to camp. And I swear to god, if they... Yeah, the artillery bombardment is going to be right here. If they don't... Oh my god, no. Are you serious? One general is already dead. He got friendly... He must have gotten friendly fire. Wait, no, he got fired by Yugi... Yugi Gitai. And now that aerial bombardment just... Not the best, considering that it'll, if, if they fire like right here, I'll kill a lot of troops, but um, I understand. But um, aerial bombardment is really hard to make sure, but uh, that said, um... Yeah, these, this faction is just gonna hill camp, and he has a lot of reserves right here. Uh, watch, I have to keep watching out for this one unit of uh, Waku Raiders. So yes. Um, 
And they have some Shogun Guard infantry with 250 range. I would move this uh, unit back. Uh, you're gonna frontally charge this unit. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. If you're gonna charge, charge them in. Don't put them like that. You're gonna get them all killed. But, um, that was a terrible waste of a cavalry unit. Um, uh, once again, why are you... Okay. Um, I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to spread them out. But the problem is now, one, you're already in range. And two, to make the situation worse, you should have spread these guys out. Like what he did on this side. But these Red Bear infantry are actually doing pretty well, considering the fact that they only have 27 left. Now, as you said, they're actually going to be sending more troops down the hill. These guys only have 100 range, and they're just going to get destroyed by everything. Not to mention the fact that they're spread so f uh, thick, they're not that thin. Uh, this is Shogun and Garden, Shogun and Infantry, mind you. So these guys are going to do extremely well. Um, this hill, oh yeah, more aerial bombardment. He's going after the bow, sam bow, bow, bow units. Not to mention now we have even more, yeah. Uh, we do have a unit of Gatling guns, but I don't think they're going to be that, that useful. Actually, no, they're going to be useful. Yeah, um... These Gatling guns... 50, 50... 87 kills, that's actually quite, quite good. Um... But, um... Elsewhere, Shogun and Guard infantry is just tearing into these guys. Um... Yeah. Yeah, you can just see the carnage from here. Um, yeah. But that said, um, elsewhere, um, there has been some charges which finally, I get, okay, thankfully they charge, but I don't think it's gonna do much. I, I rather prefer to use this cavalry as a reserve force to, we do have some revolver cavalry, so that's good, but he should've, they should've, the ally should've done coordinated it, because I could see them, Potentially getting a lot of kills, not with this these two units of cavalry, but this revolver cavalry. And... Oof. Yeah, some units are getting really banged up. He does have a lot of reserves here. But I'll start moving them around. Um, oh my god, the general's in range. Don't let the general be in range. How many... 27. Okay, only three deaths. Wait, wait, wait. Oh god. Um, so yeah, not that bad, but still pretty bad. Um, elsewhere the cavalry is just scouting and, uh, yep, now these guys are moving, so that's good. Uh, Walco Raiders are moving. And, um... And they're also going for the Gatling guns. And these Gatling guns are just gonna fire. I'm actually interested to see how many kills they've gotten. Oh no, they're routing. But 166 kills, not still bad, still quite bad. Um, yeah, considering the fact that Armstrong guns on this side are just blowing away at the enemy. Yeah, 53 kills, but that said, um, they're still far away from action. And this defense already looks to be extremely problematic. Um, the enemy, the enemy who are going to be attacking are just. Oh my god, no. Yeah, um, at this point, I, okay, the reason why they're making so many big mistakes is because they, the enemy has a lot of these dojos, and, um, yeah, the, the reason why they're mer making such big mistakes are, it's probably because they're, they're put in a bad position, and they're not doing so well, considering the fact that, um, They have a lot of stress when dealing with this many. Yeah. So it's not looking good for the defending side. But um, they're going to be trying their best to hold their ground. Um, I don't know the exact time they have, but um, after apparently ten min after nine minutes, they should be suffering the consequences. Um, they still have a lot more reserves in this hill, so that's a good thing to see. But that said, uh, 
Okay. This side also has a lot more troops. Um, we do, we do have to remember he's he still has a few units on this back on the back side, so that's um not the best. And they do see them. Uh, three units of cavalry, one unit of Walker Raiders coming out from Goblin Sayers, So yeah, they really need to uh, do something quick. This actually no, never mind. This general is not even paying attention. And the second this general dies, I see it really hard for this army to even continue to hold here. As a matter of fact, this defense is already buckling under so much pressure. We do have some Mashlokashagara mixed in with some Black Taurus Force. Just get opening fire. Um, yeah, not looking good at all. To my surprise, this unit didn't instantly break when they kind of came down the hill. They only have two chevrons, but still. Yeah, this cavalry actually didn't do that well, considering the fact that they're down to... They came from 60 down to 43 or something. Um, this fire cavalry should be doing potentially better. Our ge their general's under attack. Okay. Um, at this point, they're just opening fire point blank range. And to make the situation worse, actually, they were going for the general, but um, where is it? where is the general? By the way, oh my god, he, you you guys almost routed the general. General has three units left, but that that should be fine. Um, yeah. Um, this the this back backside force is, looks doesn't look to be doing that good. Yeah, it's actually looking to be doing pr quite bad. And we do have some UV Katai on this other side. That have come back from routing, so that's good. Um, yeah, both their generals are officially dead. And they're just going to be going deep, deeper into the forest. Which, at this point, is really looking really problematic. The reason is because they still have the dojos, so it's not going to be looking good at all. Not to mention, they still have a lot of reserves. Some even have, some have not even been, been committed. Others are just just resting themselves. Yeah. Um. Your victory is close, sir. Your victory is definitely close. Thankfully, the cavalry on this side is getting. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, with the full of two generals, this entire army, the defending army, looks to be des destroyed. And at this point, I think it's a close victory. I don't see, I honestly don't see how this is a close victory. I honestly see this is a, this is a, this is how you deal with campers apparently. Um, obviously, um, you want well, the first way that you deal with campers is take the dojo, and especially for fall of the samurai armies, you really want to camp, but at the same time, you don't want to camp so much that. That um, you give them the high ground, but that is it for this. Well, actually, no. You don't want to give them all dojos at the same time. You want to camp because camping and because camping with all the samurai armies is, allows you to do some extremely good things. Um, not to mention the fact that um, you have gun units, so that's going to make the situation even worse. But yes, that's it for this battle. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Now, before you leave, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I will be honored if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, more videos are coming out, so it is a good idea to click on that notification button. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.